Alrighty, everybody, welcome back to another Wi-Fi battle. Let's go. All right, today we're facing off against our good buddy Edol in a battle of anime. I have a uh, fun little Demon Slayer team, and he is going with a Dragon Ball Z themed team. So he's got Rillaboom, Weavile, Superior, Iron Crown, Infernape, and Ditto. So the Infernape's death's definitely like Super Saiyan 4 Goku, right? Uh, so against this team, Man, I forgot what uh, I forgot what the move sets were for my mods. Um, against this team, I think my uh, my Rengoku actually does really, really well, really, really well, really well. So we're gonna rock with that first. Uh, apologies in advance. I'm not feeling the best today. I think I have a little ear infection going on, and my my head hurts really bad. But I got some fun, in depth battles to do. And a cool little gym leader tournament to do later today. Also, happy Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, don't care who wins. Anyway, so he's going to go Great Ape. We are going to go Rengoku right off the rip. So we got ourselves a good matchup. This is not Grassy Surge. This is not a Grassy Surge Rillaboom. So I'm, uh, I'm a bit intrigued. I think... What's stopping me from just clicking Heat Crash right off the bat? I think I'll just do that. He's gonna go for a fake out. Is he like normal gym with acrobatics, perhaps? Uh, we do get our leftovers recovery, which basically mitigates any damage that we just took. Uh, not seeing any item off of this thing. Um, I'll just click Heat Crash again, I guess. If he wants to stay in, go for like a like an earthquake or you know an acrobatics or something. I think that that's fine. Uh, but Ren Goku is a tanky tanky lad, so. Uh, he's gonna switch out, so we're gonna get a free heat crash on something. Uh, it could be Ditto coming out here. SSJ3 Goku. Let's go. Uh, that is the Infernape. Uh, not the tankiest one, so heat crash might do... Okay, that's some pretty reasonable damage. We'll get some of our lefties back. Man, uh, <laughs> Gouging Fire is massive on the screen here. Um, so... I think Psychic Fangs is actually just a good move to, to do right here. Drain Punch... That looks choice banded. Potentially, potentially. But that's a lot of damage. Psychic Fangs probably just knocks this thing out like straight off rip. We're running a, a ooh, ooh, actually he survives. So he can click Drain Punch again here. I assume that he's choice locked and that's kind of the best move that he has to hit us with. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go into our. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna be a little risky, a little frisky right off rip, and I'm gonna go into our Doma here. And if he wants to stay in and drain punch again, I mean, he's he's probably gonna find out that we're Zoroark, right? <laughs> um, our disguise isn't exactly going to be uh, foolproof here, so we're gonna go Tanjiro. Actually, uh, yeah, no, he's he's. He's gonna find out that we're Zoroark, so doesn't affect me. So he knows that we're the ghost type. Uh, I'm not convinced that U-turn kills, but I know that he can't afford to stay in here. So we're gonna hit a hot switch here, and we're gonna see what he wants to do. And keep up the momentum. Again, hope you guys are having a great day. It's a fun little fun little theme battle we got here. But uh, yeah, so we'll see. Okay, so he's gonna swap out the Goku. What do we got? How comes Majin Buu? That's got to be the the ditto, right? <laughs> this is actually really funny. Wait. Is he not imposter on the ditto either? I think he might have muffed his team a little bit. I'm confused. <laughs> I'm very confused. Um, okay. Interesting. Uh, so what is... What's my best play here? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a little bit flabbergasted at the moment. Um, I'm going to go back into Red Goku. We'll see what this Ditto wants to do. I assume it's Scarf Ditto, but I assume that he forgot to, to be Imposter. So, little Ditto is just chilling out there on the field. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, I'll click Psychic Fangs, I guess. If the ape wants to come back in, we get a kill. I feel like it's a pretty solid move, regardless. Apologies to eat all. Yeah, he, he definitely forgot the imposter. So he's gonna find out what my moveset is. 
Uh, but we're gonna get a little bit of chip off. That's no damage at all. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, the good news is he can't do practically anything to me. Uh, so he could go Psychic Fangs or Heat Crash, huh? Psychic Fangs or Heat Crash. This might actually be a good opportunity to go into my Tanjiro here. Um, and we'll see what happens. But again, check your sets before you uh, use them next time, Needle. All in good fun. We'll get an Intimidate off. He probably goes for a Psychic Fangs here himself. That does negligible damage. And we are Leftovers, which is great for us. Uh, we can just click Dragon Dance once here, I think. Because he's not Imposter, so we can kind of take advantage of that, yeah? Uh, and this thing kind of just cuts through his team, doesn't it? Um, so I am going to Dragon Dance just a single time here. And see what he wants to do. Out comes Moro. Okay. Does he boost her speed? Special attack. Okay. Um, so, I would assume then, unless he's choiced, that I am faster. And with my bulk, I don't think this thing... This thing does get Volt Switch, actually. It does get Volt Switch. So if it's Choice Scarf, Volt Switch... Um, we could actually go into our Motor Drive Electivire here, perhaps. But I find it hard-pressed to believe that he really wants to... You know what? You know what? Let's, let's risk it for the biscuit. Why not? Let's click EQ. And we're going to pick up a knockout, so that's great. Uh, we are not Moxie, unfortunately, so uh, not going to do uh, a ton more than what uh, we normally would. Uh, he can go... Oh, God, man, not having Imposter on the Ditto actually feels so bad for him, doesn't it? A fun, fun little Wi-Fi battle. I, I'm almost positive that this thing... Yeah, how comes Majin Buu? Like, he's not going to live a hit. Oh. Wait. I'm so confused. Hello? Does Imposter not work on... Does Imposter not work on Illusion? Oh, wait. No, he has a Zoroark too. Wait, no. What, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on? I'm so confused. Uh, he can't really hit us with anything unless he wants to Terra. Um, but at the same time, uh, I can't really afford to, to let his, uh, Gary go off here. I assume that imposter has got some weird interaction with, uh, oh my god, that does so much damage to me. Um, I assume that imposter has some sort of, uh, bearing on how I imposter, or, uh, illusion imposter, I don't know. You, you guys know what I'm trying to say. Uh, either way, it's really interesting. Um, so that did a lot of damage to me, man. Uh, I'm gonna click Waterfall again. He might just click, uh, the same button here. He's gonna switch. Okay. Okay, okay. What do we got? Out comes the Great Ape. That's the Rillaboom. He does know that we have Temper Flare. He does have Fake Out. But again, this isn't Grassy Surge Rillaboom either, so I'm I'm confused, confuzzled. Um, we could... What are the chances he clicks Fake out here? I mean, I mean, there's really no reason for me to switch Gyarados, right? I think we just click Temper Flare. I think that's the plan. Goes for a Fake Out. We could have swapped there, but... It is what it is. I don't think uh, Rillaboom gets any priority outside of Grassy Terrain, so... I think we're gonna be pretty free just to click Temper Flare here. So that's what I'm gonna do. Big Red, Big Red Tanjiro putting in the work. Let's go. This uh, this feels pretty good at the moment. It all kind of worked me over the coals in our last uh, Draft League battle, so... Uh, that does just pick up a KO, which is awesome for us. So, uh, we might be getting a, a little bit of revenge here. A little bit of revenge. So... He's gonna go probably back out into Ditto here, I imagine. 
probably get another waterfall. So I guess his out is clicking waterfall, getting a, a flinch, and then killing me with waterfall on the following turn. So we'll see what he wants to try to do here. Out comes Majin Buu again. Yep. So his imposter is going to go off. Pops into Gyarados. Man, it would be... Yeah, I was going to say, the, the Intimidate definitely puts in a lot of work there. So... Uh, what do I have to answer this thing? I do have Sucker Punch on my King Gambit. So I think the play, I'm just going to click Waterfall. He's probably going to do a ton of damage to me here. That's an okay, okay damage. Uh, because he did not copy the stat boost last time. So Gyarados is fast at the moment. But uh, we are not, we're not doing as much damage as we would like to do. So he's probably going to just click Waterfall once again. Which he does. That does a good chip to me. He is not going to get a flinch. So we're going to pick up another KO on the Ditto here. I, I'm going to have to double check on what the interaction with Imposter and uh, Transform and stuff is. Uh, also, at the end of these videos now, I'm going to do a little post-game interview with my opponents. Just to talk about the game a little bit. Talk about the sense that we brought. Uh, so stick around for that. Hopefully he's down to do that. Um, but for the time being... Uh, we're plus one speed. I do want to uh, get a chance to use my uh, my Electivire in this game. Vegeta comes out. Okay, that is the Weavile. So he's going to exert some pressure here. Um, he may even be faster than me. I don't think that I ran max speed on my Gyarados. So <clears throat> what's the play here? Um... Let's go ahead and let's click Earthquake here. We are faster. Does not. I guess maybe then we should have just clicked Temper Flare, but that's okay. We want to use the rest of the team. So he's going to Axle me. That does a lot of damage, frankly. <clears throat> Tanjiro is going to faint. Um, so we're Choice Scarf Doma here. So I think we're just going to go in and click... U-turn uh, again. He might think that we're actually the Gouging Fire because we were... Well, I guess we're not technically full HP, so he maybe knows that uh, we are just Zoroark here. We are going to get a huge U-turn off. We're not going to pick up a KO. Which is a little unfortunate. Uh, but we could just go into our... Ooh, man. <laughs> uh, imagine he clicks like... A fighting type move here. Um. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I think. I think we're gonna go actually back into our other Rengoku here. So the Rengoku to Rengoku swap. Axel's gonna come out. That's gonna do some pretty good chip to us. Does get all three hits. Wow. I was gonna say the crit on the on the last hit definitely hurts a little bit. Um. So. When it comes to what our opponent's got left, we got a little bit of time left in the match here, so I can afford to do He's got Superior left. Uh, Superior can definitely win the game by itself. Uh, I am just going to click Burning Bulwark here on his Axle. So we're going to get a hot burn off on this thing, and then I think we can swap and go into potentially our Electivire. He is going to hit into us here. And he is going to get burned, which is awesome. Uh, that might actually just kill him. Uh, it's going to be close. We get a little bit more leftovers recovery. And he has at most like a single turn left. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, in this situation then against this Axel. Man, I really just I want to get into my Electivire. And with him being burned, it might be okay. Uh, I'm going to swap into Zenitsu here. We might take a, a hefty chunk of damage from Triple Axel. But we pretty much force him to go Superior, which... Oh, he's going to Ice Shirt. Okay. That does negligible damage. Uh, I assume Superior comes out here. We cannot be Glared. Well, maybe we can. No, we can't be Glared. But Glare is a normal type move. Let me know if I'm wrong. We are Terra Flying. SSJ3 Goku comes back in. Uh, this thing is Choiced. So he might just end up knocking me out. Um, if that is the case. Um, 
Man, I really want to use my Terra here. But but am I Terraing just to die is the real question. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go back into my Rengoku. I am going to assume that he hits me with a really, really strong move here. And... I think we're just going to sack this. We're going to get some intel because I assume that this thing is choice. And then if he locks himself into like a fighting type move, uh, then we can go Terra flying on our Electivire. So we'll go into my Gouging Fire here. He is going to Terra. It's the Terra Monkey. Let's go. Terra Fire, perhaps? What do we got? Uh, it's Terra Fighting. So it's probably Terra Fighting Choice Banded Drain Punch here, which hurts a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, yep. So, the Terra Fighting Drain Punch does come out. I imagine this knocks me out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, the real question is, does my Electivire live a hit? Should should we be sweaty for a minute? Should we, uh... Should we run a, a potential damage calc? <laughs> I'm just gonna... Just, just ever so slightly here. Uh, Infernape. If he is max attack, jolly, terra, fighting, boom, with drain punch, and I am terra fly, we should live a hit, in theory, right? So, against my better judgment, I could just go enamorous here, obviously, but we want to use the terra electivire. I'm going to show off my own terra here. And I am going to go ahead and click Supercell Slam. Just because it's a cool move, and I've never been able to use it. It's a pretty bad move, to be honest, but it's a cool move nonetheless. A cool move for sure. Alright, so he's going to click Drain Punch. We should live this. We should live uh, no problem. Ouchie! Wow, that hurts. <laughs> We, we might be giving this thing a little bit of uh, free mileage here. I don't think Supercell is going to kill, actually. So we're going to Supercell... Oh, it actually just does. Okay, I suppose we could have just clicked... Um... Oh, no, I, I I didn't actually run Terra Blast on this thing. My other plan was to maybe uh, my Terra my Terra my Gyarados into Terra Fire Tempo Flare. But uh, out comes Shenron. I assume he's going to be max speed, so he probably knocks me out here. Uh, but I'll just click Fire Punch. We'll see what happens. He is slower than me. We are going to get a big hit off. Nice. And he is going to click Dragon Pulse. So I assume that this is, is uh, contrary. But we did get a cool uh, Terra Fly off to live that hit. And then the Supercell uh, Slam definitely put in some work. So Superior is out here. He's going to get a little bit of Lefty's recovery. Uh, however, I do not anticipate that this thing can really live a hit from um, either of my guys here. Uh, let's show off a little bit more of the team. Let's go into Mitsuri here. And I don't actually want to click Mystical Fire because I don't want to give him the drop. So I'm going to click Moonblast instead. Because that Contrary boost could uh, be meaningful. He does not get knocked out. He is going to Leech Seed us. Uh, unfortunately, with us being faster, unless he's Protect, I think that that's probably just going to be the game. So he gets a little lefty's recovery, and he gets a little bit back from the Leech Seed. I assume Leech Seed, Dragon Pulse, maybe Leaf Storm, and potentially a Terra Blast. Maybe he... Um, maybe this could have been Terra too, but that is going to do it. We are going to pick up a nice little, I believe, like a 3-0 win uh, against our boy Edol. That was a super fun game. Uh, nice little Demon Slayer versus Dragon Ball. Obviously, Demon Slayer wins that matchup every time. It really doesn't. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, like, subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff, and we'll see you next time. Peace.